Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel and I would like to introduce you to the newest member of the fleet. That's right, we have this big heavy wrecker here that we got. Now, this is a mod guys. Uh, as you all know, we have mods on console now and I have my PS4. Um, so I know some of you may be thinking using mods is cheating to, to do the missions and stuff in the game. Um, first of all, my thoughts on that are... You can't cheat at a game that you're not competing with anybody. Um, I'm not playing against anybody. I'm not playing against the computer. I'm just doing jobs. Second of all, um, I don't want to use any mods that make the game super easy. And this mod definitely doesn't make the game really any easier. Like I'm saying, I, I'm, I'm not interested in using mods where you have like a million liters of fuel. You know, it's impossible to damage it. Um, you know, it, it, it floats over snow or whatever, something like that. Something, you know, that just makes the game really easy. This, in this case, this mod, I feel, is something that should have been in the game right from the start. And we're going to put it to good use today. With the first job, we have to get this International Pay Star out of the mud. And we have to deliver it to the service hub. So, let's start this thing up and see if we can find this. Very icy. This these roads are still. It's, so, you know, now that I even have this truck, and this has like really good tires, <clears throat> and it's still very slippery. So, these roads in Alaska and this map especially are just so bad. Now I know the mods just came out, but how is everybody liking the mods? Are you enjoying them? Do you not like them? Is it not what you were expecting? I know a lot of people seem disappointed about what we got. You know, I think they were expecting, like, the world <laughs> when we first got the mods. And it's just not happening that way. Oh, wait a minute. This is actually back here. Oh, we actually passed this thing. So how the hell do we get back there? Um... Okay, I think we have to actually turn around. So we can do that. And of course it's getting nighttime. But yeah, I mean, the mods, I think the mods are really cool. <laughs> this mod really impressed me. There's a couple other in there that, uh, that rock crawler is really good. The mods, the mod maps, I mean, the mod maps are actually pretty fun. You just have to give it time. When Farming Simulator 19 first came out, like for the first six months, the, the mods were just kind of garbage on that game. And then we started getting good mods, and then it's been pretty much steady ever since. Alright. So this will be a great test for this thing. Um... I have to get back up in here. All right, there's a road. Duh. Let's do some four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, I should say. Okay, so that's pretty solid ice that this big truck didn't get through it here. Well, there she is. There she is. Whoop. Guess we got a little too close to it. Huh. So we are going to do this the proper way. this guy out of here. Okay, raise that up. I 
out of fuel, it's okay. All right, now. Let's do this here. So now these new like fast controls, I gotta say, are pretty cool. So right now I'm holding the L1 down. And as you can see, it's the fast control, so I'm, I'm controlling that arm. But as soon as I let it go, I'm back in the drive mode. So I can just back up to it here. Um, okay, so we had that out. So now I can switch back to the crane. I think it's on it. So we'll disconnect that. Restore the crane. We'll do this here. L1. Kind of want to pivot that up a little bit there. Okay, and we're rolling. As you can see, I'm driving, and if I just tap L1. Again, we can control that arm back there. How cool is that? Good job. Good job. Now we gotta get this back. So let me take a quick look at the map to see exactly where we have to go here. And if I can get there from here. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll just keep going straight and we'll see what happens. Whoops. Okay, it fell off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, we gotta think of something different here. Okay, so... I'm gonna get this hooked back up again, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Well, we're back on our way. I have the arm extended. I don't think it's on it. No, it might be on it, but... We're going to leave the winch on it in case it falls off again. We'll still have it at least. So there is a road here. I just, I don't know where it goes. It looks like this goes right to where we want to go and yeah it, it definitely fell off again so that's okay we'll just uh, we'll just tow it huh. we didn't flip it so that's good <clears throat> probably just not a good idea the way it was we couldn't get it on there Right, so. So let's, uh, let's see if we can at least get this on here now. on the axle, so let's see if we can push it off there. There we go. And let's move that down.
and retract it a little bit there. Go back to the crane. again here. Okay, so it looks like it's on. We don't have far to go with it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just thought it would be cool if we could do it this way. I'm probably going to have to back up. Yeah, this is a tight this is a tight one. Back up a couple times here, actually. There we go. 1200 bucks, 180 XP, except. Alright, let's... Restore the crane. Oh, and we have to restore this too. So bring that back in and raise it up. So we're going to turn this around, and I think we are going to sleep for the night. And do our next big job first thing in the morning. All right, bright and early next morning. Time to get the rotator to work. So now we have to restore that caterpillar and deliver that to the village. Now I want to make sure I'm going the right way here. I am going the right way. Yeah, that's... Yep. So we have to go back from whence we came and go across that bridge that we built. It's a... Uh, so I noticed once you kind of hit that to go in the in-cab mode, it has a little bit of a lag, a little bit of a stutter, a pause, a stop. Uh, I ran out of words. But uh, yeah, probably just has something to do with the mod. But I gotta say, I am really enjoying having this mod. This is a great tool to have. Especially re for recovery and things like that because, let's face it, the heavy crane that's in the game, it's alright. But it's not the best. This thing is very easy on the fuel, though. Hmm. 
But if we're being honest, I don't feel that the fuel consumption in this game is very realistic anyway. So... That's not a big deal. Now, is this... I have to see if this is the turn off yet. No, this is not the turn off. I have to keep going straight. I thought so, because it said turn off next to the tunnel. The only other thing about this mod that I'm not sure about is the horn. Like, why does it have a freight train horn on it? I don't quite understand that. Although, my cousin had a freight train horn like that on his pickup truck. He had this big pickup. I forget what it was. But, uh, it was all lifted and stuff, and he had it on it. Hey! We never got rid of that. You know what? Come, let's uh. Well, we got the rotator. Let's take care of this now. Put out the anchors here. We don't need that. I know how to use this. Now. Hmm, can I hook on to a different one? Attach there. I don't want to attach there. Why wouldn't it let me attach a different place here? And I can't. Hmm. Why can't I change this? Move crane. Why won't it let me change the point? It's like right over it. That's frustrating. There we go. Good enough for me. Like I said, this mod is new, so I still need to get used to driving and working the controls. And again, with SnowRunner, the controls on these things aren't the greatest, I don't feel. I think that they could have done a lot better with the controls, but oh well. It's just awesome to have a game like this on console, honestly. So I have to take it easy through here because I know that <laughs> I flipped over going down this road one time. I mean, if you flip your rotator, what do you send to help your rotator? <laughs> Oh, 
this to rescue a cat. And... I think I have to go this way. I gotta say, though, this truck is a beast. And it should be. It should be. You know, this is the truck you're sending to get the job done, so... What would it be if it was getting stuck all over the place? Ah, there she is. Okay, so let's repair her. Repair. Um, target the caterpillar. Stage complete. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, so now I have to deliver this. So can I just... I can, okay. So what I guess we'll do... We could leave the rotator here. Or we could tow this the rest of the way. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here. Because if that thing is operational, then there's really no point in me hooking onto this. And causing damage to it. So we'll park this up here. Okay, so no, that's not going to work. I need to deliver it first. Okay. So, we can do that. Um, actually, no, let me pull forward a little bit here, and what we'll do, is we'll do this here, we'll lower this, and we want to extend it a good ways. And I think what we need to do is do this here. I'll, okay. L2, R2, left four, close, open. But it's not doing anything. Hmm. Okay. I say I wish it was a faster way to to do this, but
So again, I kind of do that, and we're going to leave it on the, uh, the winch, and I need to figure out where do I need to bring this, the sawmill. Okay, so that's probably the best way to get the sawmill right there, actually. So let me just mark this spot to know where I have to turn. Here we go. Okay. And it falls off every time. Hmm, why does it fall off? Is there a way to pack the cargo? I think that should probably go behind the axle, actually. That's probably the issue. So, we're not going to worry about it too much, I guess. I mean, it's on there. Yeah, there's no way it's going to stay on that axle because it's not really on it. So, I mean, let's face it. This is going to this was going to be a messy job regardless, even if I didn't have this. Cuz I have to still tow it out of here. Just kind of move this right out of the way. There we go. Okay, so. This is where we have to turn. I mean, this wrecker is pretty big, and this cat is even big for this, actually. And like I say, it's even, it's just, it's hard turning. Okay, this is going to be fun. Getting down here. Oh boy. Okay, so let's put this in low. Put the diff lock on here. So, I'm experiencing a little bit of lag here. Probably has to do with this mod, I'm thinking. 
But I mean, you know, it's just... Anytime you get mods like this, it's, it's to be expected. You never know what's going to happen. No, maybe it wasn't lag. Maybe it was just because I had it in low. But we are almost there anyway, so... And then this caterpillar will be ours. We can add another truck to the fleet. And I'll have done another episode before we got two jobs done. So how awesome is that? There we go. So we'll release the winch. Restore the crane. Pull this up out of the way. This thing is definitely worth worth the money that you pay in game that it is not you know, you don't have to pay for the mods, the mods are free. So don't uh don't mistake me. Um, change truck. There we go. And now we have this caterpillar. Sweet. Alright guys, and with that, I am going to end this episode. Um, I feel like it was a good one. Um, I really love that truck. I mean, Jesus, look at how big this is compared to that this is a monster <laughs> compared to that wrecker so I, I can see why we were having the issues but uh yeah guys let me know in the comments what do you think about the mods are you having fun with them you know I know they may not be what everybody wanted at the start but you know it's just we just got them give us some time you know I feel they'll get better I really enjoy that that wrecker mod i really enjoy the rock crawler mod the uh the maps are pretty cool too so guys if you want to leave a like i would appreciate it if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe it's a good time to subscribe we're going to be doing a lot of content you're going to be seeing a lot of the snow around the channel train sim world 2 farming simulator um some racing games a set of course the competition uh you know so yeah it's going to be a lot of fun so i'm gonna stop talking and we're going to end it here. I'm going to say thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.